Hey everyone, Mr. Chung here. We are going to be starting probably what is the most difficult thing that you're going to be doing this year, limiting reagent problems. So we're going to keep it simple today. We're going to keep it with uh, more familiar common sense topics and uh, hopefully that will you know prepare you as we get ready to do this um, the real chemical way. So let's get right to it. So uh, we'll be talking about limiting reagent today and you know the essential question that we're trying to answer is how is the amount of product in a reaction affected by insufficient reactants? In other words, you know, like that sounds fancy, but that's just a fancy way of saying, you know, when you are making something out of a bunch of stuff, if some of that stuff runs out, how do we figure out which stuff's going to run out first? And how does that affect how much of our product we can make? All right. So like I said, we're going to use a more common sense um, or at least practical example today. And so we're going to talk about chicken sandwiches. So imagine you're making chicken sandwiches. So these chicken sandwiches are going to have four ingredients, all right, two pieces of bun, one piece of chicken, three tomatoes, and one piece of lettuce. Okay, it's a dry sandwich, but, uh, you know, I don't want to deal with the volume of um, mayo or spicy sauce or whatever. So, you know, we're just going to go with this. Okay, so let's start with this question. If you have 20 buns, 15 pieces of chicken, 24 tomatoes, and 10 pieces of lettuce, how many chicken sandwiches can you make? Okay, so I tell you how much of each ingredient we have, and I'm asking you how many chicken sandwiches can you make? Now, the answer is eight, okay? And if you pause the video to try to figure that out, you probably got that answer. But the question is, you know, how do you figure that out, and how can we write out the equations that we're doing to figure these out so that um, you know we can use those concepts later um, for more complicated things all right so let's take a look at this okay so each ch chicken sandwich just a reminder i'm just rewriting it here two bun one chicken three tomatoes one lettuce okay now i'm rewriting the problem a little bit just to show you that like i i can't write buns chicken tomatoes out every single time so i'm going to abbreviate it so buns are going to be b chicken will be C, tomatoes will be T, lettuce will be L, and chicken sandwiches will be SW for sandwich. Now, you know, you can, like, just like we abbreviate the elements on the periodic table, you know, we're just doing the same thing here, okay? So hopefully that doesn't trip you up. So what you actually need to do is you need to figure out how many chicken sandwiches can I make of each of the ingredients. Now, looking at that and looking at the data I give you, you probably are like, oh, I can make 10 chicken sandwiches with the buns, 15 with the chicken, eight with the tomatoes and 10 with the lettuce. Now, even though you can do that in your head, okay, we are doing this with the simple examples or simpler examples so that you can practice actually writing out the equations that you're doing. So this is how you would write that out. Okay, let's take a look at one at a time. You would write 20 buns times one sandwich per two buns gives you that I can make 10 sandwiches total, okay? Notice the buns unit will cancel and it's left with sandwiches. All right, 15 chicken times one sandwich, one chicken per sandwich, so one sandwich over one chicken. That will give me 15 sandwiches. 24 tomatoes times one sandwich per three tomatoes gives me eight sandwiches. And 10 lettuce times one sandwich per one lettuce gives me 10 sandwiches. Okay, now... If you're having trouble with this, pause the video right now and take a look at this and make sure you understand how I wrote out these equations. And then the question is, which ingredient limits the number of sandwiches that we can make? So what I'm basically asking there is like, what ingredient is gonna run out and gonna stop us from being able to make sandwiches? So when you're asking that question, you wanna look which one of these ingredients will make the least number of sandwiches because once we've made the number of sandwiches that uses up that ingredient we can't make any more sandwiches so if you take a look here the answer is the tomatoes are limiting right because after we make eight sandwiches we're out of tomatoes we can't make any more chicken sandwiches so tomatoes are the limiting reagent okay reagent is just a fa another fancy term for reaction and sorry let me just move my head up here so you can see the question all right but it's gonna be the tomatoes that limit the number of sandwiches that they make we make the limiting reagent okay so we want to talk about how do things change if we are given mass of reactants and not amounts so this is going to get a little bit more complicated now again each chicken sandwich is two bun one chicken three tomatoes one lettuce okay however now i'm going to tell you the mass of 
a bun is five grams. The mass of a chicken, a piece of chicken, is 10 grams. The mass of tomato is two grams, and the mass of lettuce is one gram, okay? Now, changing the problem, making it a little bit more complicated. If we have 50 grams of each reactant or ingredient, how many sandwiches can we make? And how much of each ingredient that's not used up will be left over, okay? So this question is gonna be a little bit more complicated because hopefully you're thinking in your head, we're gonna need to move from grams of our reactants or ingredients to the actual number of them. Because again, the, the sandwich was given to you in like amounts, okay? And again, we need to figure out which ingredient is limiting, which ingredient is going to run out first. Ingredient, reactant, same thing. All right, so we'll break this down step by step and you're gonna use these steps in some problems later. Step one, calculate the number of each reactant. So again, chicken sandwich, two bun, one chicken, three tomatoes, one lettuce. Massive bun, rewriting it here, 2.5 grams. Oops, sorry, I updated this. So let me fix that real quick. Okay, so the, the mass of the bun is 2.5 grams. I had to change it to make things work better for the math. Okay, so the mass of bun is 2.5 grams. The mass of chicken is 10 grams. The mass of tomato is two grams and the mass of lettuce is one grams. Now, if we have 50 grams of each reactant or ingredient, how many sandwiches can we make? So we need to figure out how much, how what's the number of each of these things that we have if we have 50 grams of each of them, okay? So again, we're gonna be doing some reactions and let me go through like how this reaction looks, or excuse me, equation looks, all right? So I'm gonna say if I have, like the problem gives me 50 grams of each. So I have 50 grams of buns. Now I'm gonna multiply that by one bun per 2.5 grams of buns. Why? Because each individual bun weighs 2.5 grams. So 50 grams of buns times one bun over 2.5 grams gives me 20 buns total. Now again, I'm sure you guys can do this in your head, but you do not, you can, like, you're not allowed to do it in your head right now. Because later, when we're using actual chemicals and we throw in the word moles, you're gonna get so confused like stressed out about it that you're no longer going to be able to do in your head or at least the majority of you are not going to be able to so practice writing out the equations the conversions now while it's simpler so that you have that skill when it gets more complicated all right now same thing with chicken i have 50 grams of chicken remember it says 50 grams of each reactant so i have 50 grams of each 50 grams of chicken times one chicken per 10 grams because the mass of my chicken is 10 grams that i got up here Okay, and that gives me that I have five pieces of chicken total. Same thing with tomatoes. 50 grams of tomatoes times one tomato per two grams of tomatoes tells me I have 25 tomatoes. And then 50 grams of lettuce times one gram, one lettuce per one gram gives me 50 lettuces, all right? So if we're writing that out of the words, we'd say if I have 50 grams of each reactant, that means I have 20 buns, five chickens, 25 tomatoes, 50 lettuce, okay? I'm not gonna move my head there. You can see that that's lettuce. All right, step two. Now that you know how much of each ingredient you have, you wanna calculate how many chicken sandwiches can you make with each reactant or ingredient. So each chicken sandwich is blah, blah, blah. We calculated that you have 20 bun, five chickens, 25 tomato, and 50 lettuce. How many chicken sandwiches can each of them make? Now this is exactly like the first problem I did in this lecture, okay? We know how many buns we have. We know how many buns there are per chicken sandwich, so we can calculate how many chicken sandwiches we can make. So if we have 50 grams of each reactant ingredient, how many sandwiches can we make? We cannot use the grams, but we can use the number of each of the ingredients or reactants that we calculated. All right, so just like in the first problem, I'm gonna do it out. I'm gonna do 20 buns times one sandwich per two buns. Sorry, I forgot it was SW, but you'll be okay. All right, that tells me that I can make 10 sandwiches with 20 buns. Five chicken times one sandwich per one chicken gives me five sandwiches. 25 tomatoes times one sandwich per three tomatoes, 8.3 sandwiches. 50 lettuce times one sandwich per one lettuce, I can make 50 sandwiches, okay? Now, looking at this, which ingredient is limiting the number of sandwiches we can make? Or put in another way, which of these ingredients makes the lowest number of sandwiches? Because that's gonna run out. Hopefully you said chicken. Okay, because chicken can only make five sandwiches. Once we make five chicken sandwiches, doesn't matter how much the other ingredients we have, we can't make any more chicken sandwiches because there's no chicken left to make them, all right? 
So step three, figure out which reactant limits the number of sandwiches you can make. All right, we just did this. Sorry, I skipped ahead, my bad. Um, 50 grams of buns is 20 buns that made 10 sandwiches. 50 grams of chicken gave us five chicken, gave us five sandwiches. 50 grams tomatoes, 25 tomatoes, 8.3 sandwiches. 50 grams of lettuce, 50 lettuce gave us 25 sandwiches. Wow, bad. That's 50 sandwiches. Okay, so which ingredient limits the number of sandwiches we can make? Chicken, because we will run out of chicken after we make five sandwiches. So the first answer, remember the question asked us, how many chicken sandwiches can we make if we have 50 grams of every single type of reactant? Well, the answer is we can make five sandwiches with the ingredients given because What's limiting the chicken? We run out of chicken, we can't make any more sandwiches. All right. However, the problem asks, also asked us how much of everything else will we have left over? So you wanna figure out how much of each ingredient is left over. So you know that we had 20 buns, five chicken, 25 tomato, 50 lettuce, but we calculated that we can only make five sandwiches total. So I've made it easier for you. I made a table for you guys. And, um, and so, you know, if you can do this on your own, it will help you. This will help you figure out how much you will have left. All right. So let's just take a look at this table. The ingredient bun, the starting amount is 20, right? We started with 20 buns. We figured that out along the way in this problem that we had 20 buns. Okay. And one reason why these problems are so complicated is because you have to keep all this or information organized in your head. All right. But in this lecture, I'm here to keep it organized for you. Okay, so the starting amount of buns we had was 20. Well, how many buns do we use for five sandwiches? Well, we know that it's two buns per sandwich, so we use 10 buns for the sandwiches. So what's the number of buns left over? It's 10, okay? So see how I'm like systematically going through and figuring out how much did I start with, how much did I use for the five sandwiches that we made, and how much do I have left over, okay? Chicken's easy. We started with five, we used five, we ran out, the amount left over was zero. Okay. Tomato. We started with 25. How many tomatoes do we use for five sandwiches? Well, each sandwich has three tomatoes in it. So three times five is 15. We used 15 sandwich. I mean, 15 tomatoes. So we're left with 10 tomatoes over. And finally, the lettuce. We start with 50. We only use five for the sandwiches. We're left with 45. Okay. So in this chicken sandwich example, you know, we have figured out how to get from the mass of our ingredients, our reactants, to the number that we have. Then we figured out how to calculate which of those ingredients or reactants is limiting. And then we've used that information to figure out how much of the other reactants we've had left over. Okay. And so in your problems, you're going to be doing the same thing. We're going to start with chicken sandwiches and then we're going to move on uh, later into more complicated things, actual chemical equations. However, if you are feeling what I talked about here today, it's going to be the same concept, all right? It's just instead of talking about chickens, tomatoes, and lettuce, we're going to be talking about chlorine, oxygen, and carbon. All right, so that's it. Uh, hit me up if you have any questions, but uh, yeah, good luck.